Wales. Beautiful Wales. Right, I'm in the Jeep Renegade 4xE or 4XE if you just read the badge on the back. So far I'm having a very Jeep day. I'm slightly bleeding, I've got mud on my trousers, my boots are wet, and I've got the sudden urge to go and round up some rogue cows. Right, first bit of the day is take the new Jeep Renegade 4xE on a very short, mild off-road course, basically on muddy farm tracks in Wales. So we'll see how it copes. Obviously you've got petrol engine driving the front wheels, electric motor driving the rear wheels to give us four wheel drive. And apparently it's stronger than Jeep's usual mechanical four wheel drive system because you've got that instant torque on the rear axle. We'll see how we go. I don't think it's gonna be a massive test, but probably more off-roading than most people will do in a year. This is <laughs> apparently just the path back to the... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, that's terrifyingly tilty. Not sure I'm meant to be doing this. It's coping. Definitely feels like it's gonna roll over. Is this the right way? I feel like this is not the right way. What this is then is a Jeep Renegade that's a plug-in hybrid, which means it's got a 1.3 litre petrol engine driving the front wheels and a 60 horsepower electric motor with 250 newton meters of torque on the rear axle. Ooh. Just done the off-road course, which was quite short, but it's been raining a lot because we're in Wales and it's really muddy and quite slippery, but quite fun. You could do that at quite a decent lick. Bottomed out a few times on some kind of ruts and things, but actually the electric torque from the, from the rear end means you can kind of get it sideways a little bit on the slipperier stuff, which is quite fun. And actually the stability control in off-road mode, I had it in mud and snow, will let you kind of do a little bit of a slide into a corner, which is quite fun. Got it muddy already. There's some proper power going to the rear wheel splatter there. I feel like this, this blue bit is new. And the Jeep badge is built badly. I think that's new as well. You probably can't hear me, but hey. But obviously the Renegade's quite an old car. It's been around since, what, 2015, 2016? It's Jeep's kind of small 4x4 that I can actually off-road. I'm having my photo taken. Jesus Christ. Definitely feels like I'm gonna die. <laughs> that was a bit more serious than I thought it was gonna be. Was I meant to do that? Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is uh, this definitely feels like I'm gonna roll over. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That was unexpected. Thank you. So yes, yeah, so you can get the Jeep Renegade 4xE in two versions, two power levels basically, and they all beep. Don't think I was meant to be in sport mode for the off-road bit. I'm a professional road tester. I'm, I'm not. It has a 60 horsepower electric motor on the rear axle with 250 newton meters of torque and a 1.3 litre four-cylinder petrol engine on the front two wheels. And that can either have 130 horsepower or 180 horsepower. So in total, you get either a 190 horsepower version or a 240 horsepower version, which I'm in. I'm in the range-topping Trailhawk model which basically gives you the extra power and a bit of kit and reversing cameras and things like that. They're all designed to be able to go off-road and they're all trail ready. Any Americans, if you can tell me what that means, tell me in the comments because I don't know. Trail ready sounds like you're ready to eat a mixture of nuts, raisins and chocolate drops to me. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a bald English man. Oh, there's a fucking massive tractor. That's absolutely wonderful news. Uh, see you in a minute. Now to make the Jeep Renegade into a hybrid, obviously there have been some changes. The boot is about 20 or 30 litres smaller, so I think it's 351 litres now because there's batteries and gubbins and motors and it's about 110 kilos heavier, so it's 1,770 kilograms. I think I've remembered a fact. And um, yeah, that's actually interesting, the fuel tank's smaller because it's saying I've only got 173 miles of range and I'm on a full battery and a full tank of fuel. But I think that's based on me thrashing it off-road so the average MPG has dropped. The interior is standard Renegade really. You get an 8.1 inch color touchscreen. You've got a seven inch TFT screen that's always on in the middle of the dash showing you like whether you're charging the car and range and bits like that. And the, the central seven inch screen shows you your MPG and whatever other stuff you want to know. 
the entertainment screen's got special hybrid mode so you can see if your power's coming, if it's going, if it's coming from the petrol engine, if it's coming from the batteries, if you're putting power back into the batteries through regeneration, all that usual stuff. The battery is this many kilowatt hours because I've forgotten and it's good for an electric range of 26 miles on pure electric power which you know let's be honest is probably fine if you were doing lots of urban driving dropping the kids off at school blah 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 26 miles on all electric power it's average really isn't it it's fine oh yeah not to 62 miles now that's 7.1 seconds in this the 240 horsepower version so it's not thrillingly fast it's just useful and normally fast you can do up to 81 miles an hour on electric power alone as well so we're going to test all of that out and my GoPro is going to run out of battery hello boys we're still in Wales and we're on a twisty road now so we're going to see how she handles in the corners so as soon as I get on a road that says Araf on it which is slow and Welsh I descend into shit accent mode apologies I think this is a three left up a crest 100 four right caution don't cut I'm losing my mind uh, yeah sorry the car the Renegade plug-in hybrids body control is actually quite good you turn to a corner it doesn't roll as much as you would think just a reassuring amount really it's not a car you're gonna to buy to hoon about but you can go down a country road at 60 or faster without holding anyone up I have to say though that that engine noise that reviness is is almost annoying to the extent that you kind of judge your throttle inputs to try to not bring it into the equation to just try and stay in electric power you have three driving modes by the way you have hybrid which is just your normal mode that mixes petrol power and electric power you have got you've got electric mode which tries to just use the electric motor but if you put your foot down and you urgently need power the petrol engine will kick in and you've got e-save mode which will try and keep your battery charged the same so if you're on a dual carriageway using lots of petrol power hit that and it will just stop using the electric motor quite so much so you can get to your destination with some electric power remaining if you want to creep home up your driveway silently at night to avoid disturbing the neighbor's dog not that it's a particularly loud car outside but there we go you have options so far i'm actually quite liking this they've managed to give what's well, quite an old car a, a fresh lease of life and they've done a decent job of it so in conclusion uh wales is really wet the jeep renegade 4xe is is also quite wet and to be honest as a car it's quite a niche thing it's not that inexpensive but the actual hybridness of it works really well and if you do lots of city driving then it probably makes sense and obviously if you can charge at home as well all the usual hybrid caveats apply i'm going to tell you more but i'm going to go in my tent for a bit first Ugh. let's see if i fall down the ladder oh well hello no ah, this is actually <laughs> this is quite cool oh i think this is memory foam okay this is weird isn't it it feels slightly weird talking to you while reclining i feel like some roman person should be feeding me grapes um but yeah the, the jeep renegade hybrid um is decent um if you're being like a, a peaky motoring journalist type it does feel a bit old inside and the engine is a bit noisy when you thrash it but it depends what kind of driving you do really if you mostly drive around town it's fine um it, it's fine on the motorways obviously the fuel economy just plummets a bit because you've got to use the engine which isn't that efficient but all in all it's a solid like three star four star sort of car and if you want a jeep and you want a car that can go off road and is a hybrid then it's kind of pretty much the, not the only choice but one of the better choices and you might just be buying it because you like the way it looks and you like the whole jeep thing anyway that's probably enough waffle i'll do a written review on drive drive as normal thank you for watching i've been tim that has been wales and i'm wobbling this tent on top of the jeep i should probably go before it collapses thank you goodbye <laughs>